Hi, as I said, we'll learn how professional security assessment works. So in this lecture, I will describe you the process of a security assessment. An assessment can be split into three different phases. First is the planning phase, then the testing phase, and at the end is the reporting phase. This course is about the testing phase, although I will talk a little bit about the other two, but we won't really go into details in those. So let's start from the beginning with the planning phase. I consider the planning phase uh, from the first contact uh, with your customer until when the testing is started. So the customer comes to you and tells you that, hey, I would like this application to be tested. And um, then you decide that you will do that. The goals of the planning phase are the following. So first of all, you will decide the scope of the assessment. Basically, you will have to check out the application, see how big it is and how long are you gonna, do, gonna test it. Of course, the length of the assessment also depends on the budget of the customer. So you have to work together uh, to find a time frame which uh, works for both of you. Then the customer prepares a test system for you, hopefully not the productive system because that's a pain in the ass. And then he does pr uh, backups and uh, notifies all third parties that there's gonna be a test on that system. Otherwise there will be a lot of surprise and pissed people around you. Then the customer gives you the credentials for the system. We usually work with uh, two different users uh, per user role, including administrators. Now, a lot of customers ask, why do we need administrator access? Because then it's not really hacking when you already have administrator access to the system. But the thing is that, that ha having administrative uh, access to a system really speeds up the testing. If you think about it, uh, you as an ethical hacker, you only have a few weeks to, to find vulnerabilities in this application. Uh, a real attacker has basically unlimited time to, to test the application and to find vulnerabilities. So it's very difficult to compete with that. That's why we really need full access to the system to, um, to make the whole testing efficient. So if your customer asks why administrative access, it's because of efficiency. After the planning phase comes the testing phase. Obviously, the testing phase is where the real testing begins. So you should attack the application only in this time frame. Otherwise, it can be considered illegal. But the most important thing is that the fun happens here. In this phase, you will do more or less the following, following activities. First, you do the discovery of the application. Basically, you click through the application, uh, do some scanning with various tools. The only goal is to get to know the application. Then you do some information gathering, uh, like Googling on the internet, uh, checking what kind of technologies the application uses, and whether there are uh, public vulnerabilities already in the internet. And then you will try to find vulnerabilities in the application. That is the focus of this course. And at the end, you will do some exploitation. Basically, you need to create proof of concept attacks uh, for each vulnerability that you found, uh, what you can use to prove uh, the customer that, that the vulnerabilities are real problems and you need to show what a real attacker would be able to do with that problem. Now, after the testing phase comes the reporting phase. I have to be honest with you, everybody hates reporting. But from a business perspective, that's basically the most important part of your work. The reason is that the customer only sees your report. So if the quality of your report is bad, then it doesn't matter how, uh, how good job you did, and how awesome hacks and exploits you found, uh, the customer will think that the quality of your, your work was bad. So although reporting is not really fun, but I really recommend you to focus on writing quality reports uh, and giving enough time for you uh, to make that happen. Normally you will write a report where you detail all the findings that you found and, uh, and how an attacker can exploit it. Also, we usually do a presentation for the customer uh, where we walk through all the findings and explain how that works. In the rest of the course, we'll talk about the testing phase and a little bit about the reporting at the end. Thanks for watching now. And in the next section, we are going to start building our test environment. So see you there. Bye.